Good afternoon, Exeter. The groundhog said there will be six more weeks of winter, and it's looking like he was right, at least for today. For this week's report, Senator Gene Shaheen visited the town's wastewater treatment plant, a preview of tomorrow's town deliberative session at Exeter High School. And the town also, this past week, congratulated Deputy Police Chief Michael Monk on his retirement. I'm your host, Garrett Prey, and this is the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Let's get started. Senator Jean Shaheen visited the new wastewater treatment facility on January 27th to talk with local officials about their infrastructure needs and celebrate a recent award given to the town for the facility. As Matt was saying, this is the oxidation uh, area. This is really the heart of the I'm delighted to be here in Exeter to see this award-winning new wastewater treatment facility that is so important to Exeter and to water quality in the seacoast and to the Great Bay, to our rivers and water throughout the seacoast region. It's a great example of state, federal, and local communities working together, um, putting to good use those federal dollars. We've got 55 billion, 550 billion in new infrastructure money that's coming to the country as the result of the infrastructure package that passed this year or last year and we want to make sure those dollars are put to very good use and this is a, a great example of being able to do that. Hi, I'm Bob Scott. I'm a commissioner with the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services. Uh, we're here today to, among other things, to uh, really uh, thank and recognize the great work that's been done here at the Extra Wastewater Treatment Facility. Uh, I really want to commend the, the, the community and everybody here that makes this work. Uh, a lot of effort and planning goes into this, as well as uh, obviously ratepayer money. Uh, but really, uh, one of the messages I wanted to carry today is really is a, it's the, the, the town has really put themselves in a great position to leverage the, the, the incoming money. There's a lot of money at the state level that's being programmed for uh, this type of activity, both for drinking water and wastewater, as well as stormwater. And then now, obviously, uh, a, a large amount of money coming from the, the federal government on top of what we already have. So I, I really want to encourage, I know the, the town is already taking advantage that, uh, of that and there'll be more, more projects to come and uh, I want to commend you all for putting yourself in a position so that, that you can leverage all those things uh, and, uh, and really be uh, ahead of the curve and, uh, on protecting uh, public health and the environment. So I want to thank you all for that also. It's been a really nice day to get to showcase this incredible facility. Um, we're doing great, great job of reducing nitrogen over 80% reduction in the last three years since we became operational and we're looking forward to more great work coming out of the town as far as reducing our nitrogen impacts. It's town meeting season in New Hampshire and Exeter is holding an annual deliberative session tomorrow, Saturday, February 3rd at the Exeter High School. With COVID-19 in mind, there are new protocols in place to protect the public and keep the day running smooth. Bob Glowacki has more. For the 2022 deliberative session at Exeter High School, there are three separate areas for voters. Masked voters are welcome to enter through the main entrance and proceed to the auditorium. Unmasked voters are requested to go to the side entrance and proceed to the small gymnasium. Voters can also remain outside in their vehicles in the left parking lot. Those wishing to remain outside must first enter either through the main masked entrance or the unmasked side entrance to check in and get your voter cards. The three locations will be able to be seen and heard by the other locations via a video conference software. This year, there are 35 articles on the ballot. To learn more about the articles, head to exeternh.gov elections. The town manager has prepared a fact sheet with detailed information about all of the warrant articles. The Exeter Police Department celebrated the career of Deputy Police Chief Michael Monk and his retirement ceremony last Friday. Here's a recap of the event. Friday, January 28th, was the official retirement of Deputy Police Chief Michael Monk. Town staff and Exeter police officers gathered to celebrate 
his 26-year career of service to the town. All right, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Uh, welcome friends and family to celebrate Deputy Chief Michael Monk's career. Keep with you and uh, post that in the most important room in your house to remember. All right. Thanks, Jim. Congratulations, Deputy Chief Monk, on a 27-year great career with the town of Exeter. Um, we appreciate your service, and we uh, know that you're one of the best detectives in the business, and we will miss you, but have a great retirement, and make it as active and as healthy as you can. Deputy Chief Monk, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for your long-standing service to the town of Exeter. You exemplified everything that's great about this police department. Thank you for your leadership. We wish you all the best in your retirement, the best of happiness, health, and success. We'll miss you. Good luck. Thank you. That does it for this week's report. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help us spread the word. We'll be back on February 18th with more local news and information. For Exeter TV, I'm Garrett Prey, and this has been the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Have a great weekend, everybody.